I'm filming my 4K TV, 49 inch. Uh, I'm going to show you the channels I got on here. I, I got so many channels on here. And so many things I've taped. But this is my favourite channel of all channel. I got Netflix as well, but that's for my grandson who comes down to stay here with me on weekends. He loves watching movies on that. But this is my favourite channel. YouTube. And there's a lot of 4K videos on YouTube. And I'm also into games as well. I got a PlayStation 4 that I play games on. And I pick up the games I play on YouTube. So I know then what to do with it. Because the game I play now is Dark Souls 2. It's very hard. So I know then where to go in the game and how to play it. And uh, I'm looking for the game. Here we are, Dark Souls 2. Uh, this is the part I'm playing now. Dark Souls 2, Crown of the Old Iron King. Uh, I'm playing that now. There's also a lot of medical advice on YouTube. Because I got problems with the heart now, but I can still go about with it. And uh, I look at medical advice, how to play my games. This is my favorite of all ta channels uh, YouTube on my 4K TV. And uh, I'll put this on now. This is New York. I'll put it, this is in 4K as well. And there's a guy, he does what I like doing. I, I do a lot of filming now. I put videos on YouTube. And that's what this guy is doing. And I enjoy watching his videos. Because the thing is, I'm never bored. You know, uh, I got everything. You know, it is August 14th today, 2019. And a September next, now I'll be 70. Nice and I got everything. I got my YouTube channel on, on my 4K TV. And uh, of course, SkyQ with all the channels. My computer also works on, in fact, I got two computers working on um, the 4K. One is for Joseph, the grandson, when he comes down, uh, even though he's 16 now, he still enjoys spending time with his grandfather because um, I give him so much money, you know. <laughs> and uh, it, it, of course, people are telling me I'm soft, giving him so much money, but uh, out of the nine grandchildren, he's the only one I see and I like to spoil him. I got the money and I might as well spoil him. I buy him so much stuff. Uh, uh, and even if he doesn't get a job, he doesn't have to worry about uh, not finding work because I give him so much money. In fact, I'm paying him now for working for uh, his mother to clean her house for her uh, and all that. And I also give him other money. So, you know, uh, I might not have all the health that I want, but I've got all the money I want. Uh, and that helps make up for not having the health. Because my father always used to say, uh, what you lose out on one hand, or what you gain on one hand, you lose out on the other. You know, everything's 50-50. Uh, and I can't complain, I, I do get about uh, with... Uh, with this heart problem, but not as much as I'd like to. I'd love to go swimming again, but can't manage that. And of course, and of course, I got a new car, my first ever brand new car, and it's a MG Sports. And um, well, 
what, what more can I want? And the thing about me, I love being on my own, you see. Uh, now, my youngest boy doesn't understand that, because my youngest boy has got to have somebody all the time, because he, every time he splits up with his girlfriend, he goes back to his mother. Uh, but uh, he, he can't understand why I love being on my own. I'm on my own because I want to be on my own. I could easily have a woman, yeah? But I got plenty of women friends who I visit and male friends. So I'm not lonely. I phone them, they phone me, they visit me and I'm out all day. It's only in the night I'm in on my own because I want to be on my own because I want to play my game on the PlayStation. I want to watch my Sky Q and I want to watch YouTube. I just, I'm never bored, you know, I, I just want to do all these things on my own in the night. I could never handle a woman here. And my youngest boy can't see that, see? Because a year ago, uh, he doesn't bother with me now, and a year ago he had a right old go at me and he said, uh, you're on your own and you'll always be on your own because nobody wants you. And that. You know, to him now, being on my own is bad because he can't handle it. He can't see how anybody can enjoy being on my own. I got male friends, right? They can't handle on their own. Uh, a friend of mine, his wife died the other day. Within a few months, he was with another woman. He couldn't handle being on his own. But I love being on my own. And I got a brother like me. He, he lost his wife over a year ago and he's on his own. He comes to visit me and phones me. And I, well, I was on the phone to him last night. You know, there's a lot of people out there on their own who like being on their own. But my youngest boy can't see that. He thinks, oh, being on your own is terrible because he can't handle being on his own. That's the problem. Anyway, um, I'll finish filming now. And uh, I went visiting this morning. Uh, two good friends of mine. And also going for a walk, a weekend then, of course, I'm, I'm up with the, the daughter and grandson. Uh, I stay there sometimes because I love Armourford. It's like a holiday for me, going up there. And because uh, I also, even though the daughter, I mean, she's a manager, I also help her out with money. And my grandson uh, comes down here to stay. So, you know, I've got plenty of company. Uh, I haven't got the full health, but I'm happy with what I've got because I know so many miners who worked underground to me who have gone or suffering. And uh, I spoke to one today now. He, uh, he's younger than me and he really is suffering. You know, it's, it's sad to see, so I can't complain. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'll finish filming now and put this on YouTube.